is Axel Barr and today we're talking to a couple of mine safety specialists. Radoslav Stach, thank you for coming over to answer a couple of questions. You're working for KGHM, one of the world's largest copper mining companies that is expanding their activities from Poland to Canada and other countries. Based in Glogov, in Poland, you are the mining area manager and involved in Mines Rescue. Mines Rescue in Poland always has been a special focus and the KGHM team are always among the best teams around the world. Maybe you can tell me about the story behind this. I started working in uh, mine, uh, copper mine in KGHM in 1999, so it is uh, 15 years. And I'm 14 years in a rescue team. I was a volunteer. And two times, in 2008, 2010, I was a captain um, of the rescue team, our company. And we have a third place in USA and a first place virtually in Australia. And improve, uh, I think so, it's a hard training about. We're just looking for another team, for another country, how they work. As it becomes more challenging to access the world's resources and the mines are getting deeper, then what impact does that have on mines rescue? Um, it's a, one thing is about the cost for a business, because deeper is a more cost, more money, that's the problem. Another problem is uh, gas, all gas, and the temperature. Refuse chambers and rooms give miners a safe haven in case of emergency. What are your experiences with refuge rooms or movable shelters and what is their part in your rescue concept? Uh, in KGHM we have a, one refuge rooms and with the dragger men we work for, uh, for example to use them underground because we have the problem with the deep, with the temperature, with the gas and this is a very good solution. It, this is the way what we must do to work underground deeper. Radoslav, fires underground are always a big threat for miners in the mine. Who should first respond? What should be their equipment? And what, of, what kind of training is it necessary? Uh, about the equipment, I think detection gas for all gas, which will be the future. And I think we will be needed this, uh, this equipment. And about uh, escape equipment, uh, now we have it for one hour and we will be needed for two hours, two hour, for example, because deeper is too longer to escape. And I think training uh, people about escape, which way, what we must do, how to use it, training for, for all rescue miners, blue collar workers, the same. You are attending the sixth International Mines Rescue Conference here in Niagara Falls. What is your impression after the first day and what do you take home with you to your organization? Um, in this conference, I think so, we're just talking about uh, different but the same problem. It's very good to, that all the people talking and uh, give the answer how we must do with, for example, fire, for trouble, for deeper. Um, and I take the resolution, for example, for our mind, what we must do to be better. For example, like Dragger, uh, to see a new production and think about what, what we must take to work deeper. Okay. That's the solution. Radoslav, I thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Interview, and uh, have a good second day. Thank you very much.